Good morning. Yep, it is still morning, just 10 to 12 to be exact. Uh, well, I did have a video from yesterday, but uh, unfortunately, <laughs> when I um, transferred the files from the camera, they got corrupted. Or at least two of, them, two of the files did, so no video. <clears throat> so I'm starting again from today. <laughs> I must have the camera on because Mr. Nemo down here is a uh, meowing. Anyway, I didn't spend too long in town this morning because it's pissing it down. Yep, still pissing it down. And it's actually that chilly and cold. I've uh, I've put the heating on. Me. <laughs> I've actually got my heating on. But, uh, yeah. A little bit wet. There's no drainage down there. And all the water tends to run from the car park and down here. Then it collects here by the edge of the grass and I just end up with a paddling pool. There is drainage on the car park. But the drains are blocked and have been blocked since I've uh, lived here. In fact, you can probably see all the puddles. Oh well. The council have got to move out to make way for JD Weatherspoons. There's little point spending money on it now. Anyway, as it's payday, decided I'd get myself something a little different. And uh, I've already got this one, but there was, um, you're interested in Lego as well? <laughs> yeah, there's um, two reasons why I got that. One, I want to modify the truck. Two, I want another um, port loo <laughs> They're the only reasons I wanted it. Um, plus it's got the extra parts and it was on offer it's about half price actually so <laughs> and if it's one thing you do with Lego if you can get something at half price grab it <clears throat> not really into any other themes apart from C but vehicles I actually like the look of that 4 before, and that buggy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> anyway. Uh, I'm going to build those up, because I can't really do much else, because it's pissing it down. There's the other truck, by the way. Uh, I don't really uh, feel like going for a walk around town. This weather is uh, really nasty. There is uh, flood alerts out. No doubt there's going to be uh, local flash flooding as well. I wouldn't be surprised if there's water sitting underneath one of the um, notorious railway bridges in town. There's plenty of water sitting elsewhere. Actually, looking at those puddles, it doesn't look as heavy as it was. No, actually, I'm looking at another puddle. I'll take that back. It is as heavy as it was. It's horrible. <laughs> People are having to walk around on the grass, which isn't much better because that's waterlogged. I suppose walking on waterlogged grass is better than walking in two inches of water. Roughly. It's enough to cover your shoe, at least. <coughs> I think I'd rather splash around than cover my shoes. <sighs> so yeah, it might be another um, slow and unproductive day. 
I spent most of the day. It wasn't an interesting video anyway yesterday. Um, look, just turn you around so you can see me. Hang on. Yeah, I was just messing around with Lego really most of the day. I repaired a couple of. Um, well, actually, I repaired three vintage sets that um, I've had in sort of half broken condition for a very long time. I've actually sat on a lid on a tub under my bench here. Um, so I thought I'd do those. There's a few models I want to make. I just feel like um, reassembling some sets. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, yeah, apart from that, I don't really think I'm going to get up to much. I want to crack. Um, I want to crack that power supply open. I might do that later if I can. Uh, if I go and stick perhaps that drill on charge, so I can see if the batteries will uh, hold charge fine enough um, under strain. Now you're just wanting attention. That's why you're sitting on there. Well, I've got news for you. You can get your butt off there in a minute. I might play a bit of GTA. I had a look in Black Records, but he hasn't got any um, GTA 4. Got plenty of Assassin's Creed. Pardon me. Ooh. I think the other thing I'll do this afternoon is have a nice hot soak in a bath. There's nothing better than that on a cold, wet, rainy day. That's the council office, by the way. I was supposed to have been out by um, 31st December. I know it was December sometime, but I still haven't found a place to go, and in DC are still being tight bastards as usual, as far as I know. <coughs> I'm just waiting for someone to ask about it on the groups, and then we might get a few more answers. <laughs> oh dear. Look at this look. The number of people that walk past. Bad way to go. I just went the long way round. <laughs> but probably the driest actually because you haven't got to puddle around in the grass down here. <laughs> oh well, soon be spring. These trees will bud again. And block me view out because I can actually see the church tower. I'd be lucky if I can see the very, very top peak of that church tower. Well, what's left of it? That fell down in the 1700s from bell ringing, according to history. They were ringing the bells in the tower and that just, just collapsed. <laughs> and it's sort of been repaired and maintained as it is ever since. Recently had a hell of a lot of money spent on it repairing the, well as you look at it, the um, left side. So it's got like one side that looks all nice and new and the other side looks crumbly and old. But uh, what that cost us to do one side which was actually dangerous anyway because it was crumbling and debris had fallen from it. Um, it was something like... I can't remember what the price was now. I've got 25000 stuck in my head but I'm pretty certain it was more than that. Because um, I think they've used the same sort of materials that would have been used originally. If I can zoom in a bit. 
I'm so used to the other camera, I forget I can do that. There you go, you can see it better now. You can just see the, that little sort of peak right on the left hand side there. That's all new. It took them about a year to do that. There's the Grounds Maintenance Tractor. They maintain all the public parks. I don't know, I've got a really shaky hand at the minute. I do apologise for that. Let me just... No, that is my hand, not my arm. <laughs> yeah, that track. The um, guys that use that track, they maintain all the public parks and uh, the churchyard, the cemetery, which is just up the road. And a few other public areas they maintain. But uh, I think they can do a lot in this weather. Yeah. See, I'm so used to the other camera, I forget this has got the zoom function on it. Let's just zoom back out. I wish it was a smooth zoom though, but a zoom's better than no zoom. <laughs> I can't complain. Meow. Who doesn't know what to make of this one? You got something? You got weepy eyes? Oh, got to do your try. Yes, I have. And I've got to get you some cat food. I don't want to go out in the rain. Hope, well, according to Anglia weather, it's supposed to be clearing. Well, actually it said rain is, is clearing when I read the article about an hour ago. Yeah, right, if that's clearing, then I'm a fucking Dutchman. Look <laughs> at that. Clearing my ass, it's still pissing down out there. Well, it's not clearing in Norfolk at least, it might be in other parts of East Anglia, but... Then again, in theory, if it's clearing in other parts of East Anglia, Anglia like Cambridgeshire and Suffolk, then in theory, it should eventually clear up here, probably by... I don't know, give another couple of hours and it should be cleared, I hope. I might go into town and uh, grab a few bits. I've got extra batteries on charge for this. They should be ready by about 6.30. That's one advantage with this camera. I could do with another pack of those batteries, really. Um, they don't take as long to charge as the um, hefty AA ones in there for the other camera. They're all charged, so I can use the other camera as well if I want. But uh, I've actually noticed that even though this is saying one bar battery, because I put the other set of batteries back in that I hadn't charged yet, it hangs on one bar battery for a very long time. Um, so, yeah, I can't complain with this camera really no idea what it cost um, probably about the same price as the ones I was watching on eBay which is sort of 50 60 quid I expect something like that but for the price you can't complain really right I'm gonna go off and do whatever it is I want to do I'm not even sure what I want to do <laughs> It's one of those days. Actually, in fact, as I've got the LEDs on, oh, I've got to go and top up the electric meter as well. As I've got those, they'll use less than that thing. Oh, I really want to get LEDs up there. I may change the light fitting because I've had that light fitting up there for a good couple of years now. But, uh, I might change the light fitting. Anyway, I'll disappear and uh, I'll come back later on if I get bored or have something to talk about or you know talk to you later
Hi, Brick Matt here. Um, got a small update for you. I have made a start on a little countryside area over here. I do need base plates, obviously. Um, I've made a start on a little country bungalow with a raised pond. Just got to put a few other um, bits and pieces in there. Put a car on the driveway. The roof does come off. <laughs> it always takes that pack plate with it. But uh, yeah, not much of an interior yet, but <sighs> and I may change the um, plates that those are sitting on because it's sitting on two 16 by 32 base plates I'll change that for two 32 by 32 because it won't matter if it hangs over the back there so I'll then use those two 16 by 32s at the front so I'll need another two possibly another four and I'll need about five green 32 by 32 plates. Well, actually, I've just remembered I've got two 16 by 32s here. So if I can get another 32 by 32 to replace in there, that'll already give me four. Yeah. So we'll, we're there. I bought another one of these sets, the um, crane truck and portaloo, or whatever, I can't remember the exact name for the set, but I've already got it up there, but uh, this is currently on sale, so I grabbed another one. I will be building it, um, yeah, I will be building that one. Because uh, I only got it because A, it was on sale, and B, I wanted another portaloo or a porta potty, whatever you know it as. And of course, I could always uh, convert the truck into something else. So, uh, as for the main part of the town, I haven't done a lot on that at all, apart from uh, added some townsfolk actually doing some things, there's a broken down car being recovered there someone on a jet ski and he's unloading the second one but uh, yeah, there's not a lot going on yet but I'm getting there scenery is getting there <laughs> I thought it would look a lot better if I actually had people dotted around actually doing something um, eventually I will have like like a grass embankment going up the side here just so as it looks well so it blends the um, slope in um, and I decided to use two road plates for the slope as actually suggested by someone on AFOLS of Facebook so I actually took their advice and it actually to me looks a lot better now in the future I might move this cabinet probably over to there and put another table in here so I can build a bigger country area eventually that's a long term plan but for now I'm happy as it is and I have a SIG rig I think I've shown the SIG rig before but made myself a little SIG rig a little 4 before. my SIG fig uh, is on a bicycle somewhere on the top oh there it is there I am there's brick nut <laughs> riding along his friend is on the uh, his lady friend is on the uh, wrong side of the road for some reason 
Yeah, I'm British, so I decided, you know, to have all the traffic on the side of the road we drive on. Don't you even think about it. Okay, you thought about it. <laughs> Oi, Catzilla. Don't you go breaking anything. <laughs> Only break things if I want them demolished. How does that sound? Anyway. Uh, oh! I was then thinking that was it, but it isn't it. That's my Marvel vehicles. Go over there. More instructions for the box of instructions. Uh, yeah, I've got some sets repaired. I've got to get the figures out, though, for this police set. I can't remember the set number off the top of my head. But it will be reviewed at some point. Along with the two over the back there, this one I've got to get the blue motorbike for and put the correct minifig in because there's the wrong minifig in there for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why the wrong minifig is in there, but there's the wrong minifig in there. Anyway, <clears throat> when I bought this on eBay, it came with a grey motorcycle and it's meant to be a blue one, so eventually I will get hold of a blue one to make this set complete. That was one of the um, sets I had sitting underneath this desk, waiting to be repaired. And the other one, which again I've forgotten the name of as well, <laughs> um, was also in the same condition. Well, the wheels had fallen off the Jeep and the, all the helmet and everything, and I've just replaced all those. May replace the white plates on the top here because they got a bit dirty. Or I could go give them a wash, one or the other. But, uh, yeah, that's it. I don't think, uh, I don't think I fixed anything else. That's the second TV van I built. The other one is up on the shelf. Oh, and the other thing I did yesterday was, uh, sort out that tub of Lego. Well, a majority of it. Because, uh, as you can see, it's not chock full anymore. Oh, I right, still so see a few bits in there I can put in a drawer, but the parts that are in that tub I'm not too worried about at the moment. You know, 99.9% .9 of my Lego is where it's meant to be. <laughs> I've just got to put um, those away. So, yeah. That now sums up this update. Um, oh, no it doesn't. I've got the uh, Lego Snowplow on its way to me. I bought it on eBay, as it's now a retired set. That's actually the other reason I decided to get that one as well. Because that's now, I believe, a retired set. Um... And because they're still on the shelves in my local shop, I figured I'll get those first and anything else I want while they're in the sales, then I can start buying the new sets for 2016. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah, so that should be here either Saturday or Monday. Today's Thursday. Thursday the 7th of January, I think think. Yes, because tomorrow's the 8th. Um, yeah, that is it now. <laughs> Don't think I've forgotten anything. I am just having a quick look around. Nope, not forgot anything. So, if you like the video, then give that like button and click the clack. It's much appreciated. And uh, subscribe for more videos and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Hi guys. I'm back. <clears throat> For a few minutes anyway. I've just braved the elements again to go and pick up my meds. Um, the wind's picked up. Rain has eased off a little, but there's still a lot of uh, flooding around. Anyway. I've brought this bike light up because I've got a button problem with it. There's there's no click. Well, there is. If I push the uh, little 
silicon rubber doofy in. So I'm going to have to. I'm not sure why, because that is meant to line up with that. Uh, I think it's because. I think it's because the switch is a bit loose, there's nothing there to support it. Um, I could wedge something under there, I think. Well, there's me meds. But while I was in the chemist, or the pharmacy, I found some of this um, gluten-free, no-added-sugars chocolate. So, for this segment of video, I thought I could do a little... Uh, Taste test. <laughs> uh, I could do a putting you on the tripod. Where did I put the tripod? Just bear with me for a second while I screw you on the tripod. Try and get you on the tripod. Wee. There we go. Right. No. I might be at a funny angle because I was using the tripod to. Uh, do a Lego video. I think I can near enough line myself up with the camera. Maybe not face, but well, not face at that bloody angle. How about that? Is that any better? If I sort of sat back. Yeah, my eyes is level with the middle of the camera, so should we do a taste test. Good that. No added sugar. Got 6.3 grams of sugar. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it's supposed to have been made with sweet. Well, maybe sweetener has a little bit of sugar in it, but uh, it's a darn sight less sugar in it than. Um, ordinary bar of chocolate, so here we go. I've got a nut stuck in the roof of my mouth. Just chocolate nut. Mm. It's not the best. But it's certainly not the worst. Look at that. Definitely not the well, oh, Best eat less than 25 grams of polyols per day. Whatever polyols are, does anyone have an, any idea what they are? As excessive consumption may cause a laxative effect. Wouldn't notice any difference from my ass. <laughs> but this is um, 6.3 grams per per 100 grams. These are only 75 gram bars. Well, very little sugar. Much better if you want something sweet to snack on and you're diabetic. Expensive though. It's £1.79. Mm. 
established in 1921. Simpkins is the brand. Right, I'm going to put that to the side there. My fingers are still a bit numb. Right, so I need to wedge something in there to keep the switch up. Because I better now prop that or push that switch back up. I don't want to do it too much because I don't want to weaken the solder joints. Yep. I've got it in the right position. I wedge in there. Shall I do the usual bodge trick and put a bit of paper in there, fold it up? Not that coupon because that's still valid. <laughs> oh, ah, I don't use this coupon. It's a good trick using folded up paper as a wedge. The belt is, and I think I've come to the conclusion that the only reason I itch just below the waistline is because of my belt. So, in theory, if I wedge. Folded up piece of paper under the switch. That might be a bit too thick. Let's unravel it. That's better. There you go. It's in there. <laughs> A bad idea. Well, there we go. That's better. Oh, still got numb fingers from the cold. Can't forget to put my gloves on. I don't actually know where they are. I'll have to go find them. We'll have another bit. Mm. Not much flavour to it either. Flavour's a bit bland, but what's that? It's not the worst. Hmm. Good if you've got a um, gluten intolerance as well. But like I said, it's not cheap. <laughs> My finger, I've got one finger that's still cold. Come on, warm up. Can't do it. It's not very thick either, it's quite thin. Which is a bit disappointing for the price as well, to be honest. I mean, you can actually. This is one of the few things I think out there where the unhealthier versions of chocolate are actually cheaper. So I can get a bar thicker than this. For about eighty pence less. Good job chocolate ma melts because that got stuck in the back of my mouth. So, you know, just before it gets to your tonsil. <laughs> but 
least I could eat a bar of this and not worry about it boosting my choc my chocolate too much. Boosting my sugars too much. Put that one away. New prescription, ready for next time. Two lots of glip aside. Start taking two a day. I don't think I actually need to now, now that I found what the cause was for pushing my sugars up. Not that this helps. <laughs> I'm sure this fluxetine comes in a different colour box each time. Oh no, it was pink and white last time. Sometimes it's green. Do want that bit. Right. actually got a pause button but I haven't worked out what it is. There's a symbol next to the word pause on the screen but mm, I'll just have to have a play and work it out. Nemo's nicked my high-vis coat down there. I put my coat down there to dry off because the radiators are on. Because for the first time this winter, it's actually bloody cold out there, as well as wet. So I've actually got the uh, heating on. Now I'll probably get a takeaway for dinner because I can't be asked to cook. But I'm guessing because the radiator is on, and he's always liked my high vis coats, always. Every time I lay him on the floor, he's straight there laying on it. So. It's probably even more of a bonus because it's right next to the radio. Yeah. Right. Um, let me go in the bin. <coughs> Must be something I can do today. I'm bored out of the skull. Nothing to bloody do. Nothing to do apart from talk about random crap to a camera. <laughs> uh, well, until I at least run out of something to talk about or the batteries die. Whichever comes first. Bloody. Oh, what was I, oh, I said earlier I was going to take a warm bath, wasn't I? But I just wanted to pop down to the um, chemist. Well, I'm going to leave the tripod on this one, because at least I can turn the camera towards me when I need to. Yeah, I think I'll get a nice hot, ba hot bath. I just want to go, because I've got to go across town to get to the um, <coughs> pharmacy I use, so I want to do that and get cold and wet at least once more before I... Well, I'll have to get cold and wet again if I go and get a takeaway and something or well, if I have a takeaway I might not. But either way I've still got to go out later to lock the bike up at least, so but I think I'm gonna have that long awaited soak in a bath, so I'll talk to you later. Well, I did think of something I'd forgotten to mention. You may remember many videos ago now, back in summer of last year, I got this little TV from um, a car boot sale for three pounds. And um, it's said that these are pretty much obsolete now because you can't 
use them on digital TV receivers? Well, um, I found out, yes you can, at least with this model. Um, I have seen people hack the main antenna to um, allow it to receive a digital signal, but by connecting it basically directly to the digital um, signal, thingy, bob, something like that. Anyway, I noticed with this one, it's got these two sockets here, and this one says audio slash video, and that's your DC in 6 volt. This is an input, which means with the right cable, you could connect this to DVD players, or VCRs, Sky receivers, probably a cable receiver if you have cable, Freeview boxes, basically just about anything that's got a SCART connector on it. Now, as soon as I found that out, I went on eBay yesterday found someone selling a cable which has got the yellow video cable and white audio it's basically one of these but with the yellow and white not the red and white and uh, for 99p so I bought that one then I found another which has all three colours so it's basically the 3.5mm jack um, split in all three colours yellow, red and white and uh, that was 195 free postage so I bought that as well so I've got both so hopefully one or the other or both will work and I will connect it to if I just get it out of the um, SCART splitter one of these adapters I've got several of these but that's all you'd need and I'd still be able to use that device, that little TV, with a digital receiver, or video player, or whatever I decide to connect to it. I can't say if every pocket TV will have that sort of connector on it. I mean, maybe newer models. I doubt the ones from the 80s would, but I don't actually know how old this one is. I did research ages ago, but I forgot. The only downside to this is there's a nasty scratch going right across the screen, but it's not noticeable that much when it's turned on. It does work, it does turn on. I might remember where the on button is. On. So you do get things up on screen. Get the auto tuner. I was running on batteries at the moment, but if I did use it, I'd use it on a um, 6 volt adapter. I'm sure I've got one in my box of adapters. <clears throat> anyway, when I went to get dinner as well, I had a... S Just for no reason, I decided to have a look around the QD stores. And, uh, I found these. Oop. I can't get them out of the bag without it getting caught. organizer cases and um, you can actually lock two of these together it's by a company called um, tandem organizers and this is the 400 model the 400 400 B this will be because it's got the um, dividers which is this one so they do three different models, A, B and C. One with prefixed dividers, one with removable dividers, and one with um, boxes. <coughs> boxes that you can take out. It's quite large. Here's the little um, hinge pieces so you can hinge them together for easy storage, I suppose. You will just uh, clip on. You've got some extra locks here to lock them on. You only give get two with one case, but to be honest, 
I know there's four, but if you get two with every case, you'll have four when you buy both cases, so... <coughs> Bunch of assorted dividers... So I got three. I bet you can guess what I'm going to use them for. <laughs> there's a few drawers down there that I weren't going to sort out, but I decided I will. Um, these, they do have in three different sizes in QDs. They got this one. Well, from what I could see, I wasn't really looking along the rest of the shelf, but they got toolboxes and things up there as well, which are quite cheap. This size, which is one ninety nine each, which is a lot better than one ninety nine for those bloody things I got out of Roy's. And this actually feels much better quality, actually. Um... Then they do another one, the next size down, which was 149, and then they do a small dinky little one for 99p. So I grabbed three. Might want some more, just or at least one more. Just depends on what I decide I'm going to do with them. Uh, I may try and peel this dopey sticker off the front here. I know they don't peel very well, so I may. Is it going to peel off? Oh, it might. Yep. There's no info on it, it just shows you what to do. Well, it just tells you the three different types they do and how. a little demonstration on how to clip them, two of them together. Okay, it's easy enough, so I don't need that. Right, just make a little bit of room up here. <coughs> oh dear. I'm going to, oh no, I'm going to go in here, didn't I? Take... So, let's take these dividers over here. <laughs> that one go to it's on you oh I see oh so in theory get the camera in a better position somehow these clip on here ah like that so you put one on there One on there. Um, the idea is lay them like that. Oop, didn't clip on. Lay them side by side like this and uh, the idea is you put them together, then you fold them so they lay with the lids facing each other, which is actually a good idea because then that means the lids won't accidentally fly open on you. And then you use these. Clip one on there. And in theory, if it lines up, it should just slide together like that. And press on it a little bit. But tight fitting isn't actually a bad idea. There we go. That is it. Just like that. And you've got a carry case. Not actually storage. I don't know if I'm going to keep them like that, but. All you do just to open them up, you just push that one that way, that one that way. Beep. It's actually quite a good design. I like that design. Mind you, if I store two together, that means I'm going to need a lot of room. But, I don't know. I'm going to take it apart for now. 
that might be a little easier. Right. I'm not sure what I'm going to get up to now. Probably a bit of sorting. There's at least... With these I could probably clear at least two drawers. In fact, I know I could. In fact, one of those drawers I could put in the next case down. Because that's all my small wheels. So I think I know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm going to buy a smaller one. Got plenty of loose change floating around in my pocket. So if I can get this one started and peeled off. Oh. I hate it when stickers do that. Come on. Okay. Got one more in there. Oh, pardon me. Right. Yeah. I've got this one. Axles and things. That was one of them I wanted to sort into one of these larger ones. I'll sort these in the piles of types and uh, so I can actually work out how many dividers I'm going to need. So, yeah, guess what I'm going to be up to tonight. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back later. Alright. Well, I've had dinner. I've been to Lidl's and got some Pepsi Max because uh, I've got some Sainsbury's Dark Cola and to be honest, it tastes like absolute shit. I think I'd rather drink my own piss, to be honest. Do you know what the really funny thing is? I would swear that Sainsbury's own brand dark tastes exactly like their Sainsbury's Basics range. And their Basics dark cola costs 20 pence a bottle. Sainsbury's own, I don't know why they do that, but. Hello, <laughs> cat in his box. Sainsbury's own brand is 55p, and I swear they are exactly the same. Right. This fucking helicopter's getting in my tits now, because I keep getting in the way. I, so I've put um, the PS3 on, because I'm going to play uh, a bit of GTA 3. I've been trying to find signs that I've got to smash for one of the sort of random side missions that flash up when you're driving around. I think I managed to find three that's some ungodly are this morning. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway. I've managed to fill all three of those up. No. Ooh, pardon me. I'm going to get at least one more for now. I've got absolute stacks on the shelf, so I don't think I'm going to need any more, to be honest. Um, not unless I decide to sort the other wheel drawers out. Oh, pardon me. But then again, I don't really need to, to be honest. Um, the only other one that I'd really want to sort out is the one full of... Um, printed bricks but then again I wouldn't need one as big as those cases in fact I think I could get away what am I standing on tire with one of these um, I have got a drawer where I can put all these weird shaped bricks in <coughs> which I'll do later I'll empty that tub a bit more um, I do want a proper tub, like another one of those, that I've got under there, 
um, to put all the overflow Lego in basically because um, what I've done when I can't actually get any more in any compartments in these or any of those drawers they get thrown in one of the boxes down there as an overflow uh, which I suppose in a sense when I've got enough in there I could actually uh, sell it to be honest so I'll have more than enough for what I need up here so there's a thought right there <laughs> my box of red brick this one on the right that's actually chock full so is the white um, I can't actually get any more in either of those tubs so I could actually get some money for some um, oh pardon me you know, some random Lego. Or sorted Lego. And it is all genuine Lego. I don't use none of this fucking Mega Blocks or anything. I don't have a problem with Mega Blocks as a brand. But it's just, to me, it just doesn't feel the same as Lego. Anyway, enough of that. Huh? I do apologise for talking about Lego on this channel, but I haven't really done much else. Um, I should be going to Mum's at the weekend. And I do plan to take a trip to the um, Recycle Centre. Um, hopefully they've got at least one bike I could do something with. That would be uh, sweet. I've got a girls one up in the cupboard I can do. I need to get... I need to have a clean up in here so I can... Uh, no surprise there, I need to clean up in here. <laughs> Have a clean up in here and uh, get that lady's bike out and get that done. Um, yeah. But, well, I'm not going to be doing it outside because the weather's supposed to be crap. It's meant to be a, um, a frost tonight. It stopped raining at last. I think it stopped raining sort of around five o'clock ish. Uh, I have seen the gritter trucks out. They have forecast a frost, so that's going to be a joy in the morning. We'll probably find and hear of several cars and fields where they've slid off the road. Because, <coughs> uh, People seem to forget that um, even though they may have good driving skills, if you hit mud <laughs> or a patch of black ice because you can't, you know, it's so cold because you can't see it, it will. Um, <laughs> you're still at risk of sending your car into a spin. Now you might be a good driver but that doesn't mean that your car's not going to say F you I'm going for a spin. Whee! And before you know it you're in a field. Preferably the right way up. <coughs> Which is why they say that even though speed limits are posted which I don't actually get. They call it a speed limit, but it's actually the maximum speed you can do. So why don't they call it speed maximum? <laughs> why don't they call it a speed limit? Um, but that does mean that, especially if it's wet, you should slow down a little bit. If it's frosty and icy, slow down, snowy, slow down and all that. Well, that's boring, but... I'd rather we get to our destinations in one piece than a thousand pieces. And I don't think anyone wants the headache of having to deal with insurance companies and whatnot. Because most fender benders can be avoided. <coughs> most vehicle accidents actually can be avoided. But as I said before, you know, we're all prone to having a bit of a concentration slip. 
I'm still going to think of something. That's gone. No, I wasn't going to think of something, I was going to say something. If you get off that, you've been sitting on my coat all day. Seriously. He has slept on my coat that was down there all day. <laughs> Until he got off it a little while ago and I managed to nab it and hang it up. But, he's going to get his ass kicked off here so he's going to hate me in a minute. See, he's already meowing at me because I'm just booting him off the chair. Oi! You cheeky little shitbag. <laughs> I want that chair. I'm not sitting on the edge again because that hurts my ass. That's not a very comfortable chair to sit on the edge of. Right. Um, mm, there is one disadvantage to buying those sectioned uh, cases. You never use all of these. What well, I never do anyway, so. I've got shed loads left over. Look, <laughs> all those. So I usually put um, partitions in to make a a section big enough to house the parts I'm putting in comfortably and usually with enough space to fill in extra. If I freaking Lego all over the floor. I'm glad I got my shoes on. If anyone's ever stood on a Lego they'd know it hurts. Oh yes, and for all you Americans out there, it's Lego. No S. The Lego company has said that themselves. There's no S. I'm only kidding. That used to be a pet peeve of mine, but now it doesn't really bother me. If you want to put an S on the end of Lego, then it's up to you, you know. <laughs> Ooh. My knee's not supposed to bend that way. Uh, interwebs is quiet so I'm not doing much so I'm going to end the video and hopefully I can transfer all the files from this camera and none of them will corrupt because I don't particularly want to start again <laughs> if I can help it so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to, and I'll uh, talk to you again soon. Bye.